What up, what up? So, I'm doing a live video because I feel like I've had a coaching call both Saturday and Sunday this weekend, both on parts work. And for those of you who don't know what parts work is, it is when you kind of are going into the transformation coaching. So there's two certifications that I hold, the health coaching and the transformation coaching. The transformation coaching is more about parts work and deeper understanding to all your parts as a person and trying to figure out what it means, how it makes sense and how it's conditioned you to be living the life in which you are being, so to speak. And yesterday I had a fascinating recollection of, I'm a very masculine female, okay? And it was so interesting through this because the, the topic of talks came up and the coach was like, well, you know, why aren't you giving talks? Why aren't you wanting to do that? And it's like, I'm not wanting to because A, I don't really feel like how to kick sugar or clear clutter, create balance. Like the, the talks I have typed up don't necessarily fit my mold or fit what I want to help people to do. And so, good evening, Mr. Erdman, good to see you. Um, so with that whole recollection, we go in and she further asks me questions and then we're searching and she's like, well, what about the talk? What would you change? And I'm like, I'm just a different person. And so I wanted to share the differences between, hey, Catherine, um, my masculine and feminine and how they show up and how I intend to move forward. So I was recently told that I have sexy energy and that threw me for a whirlwind because I've always associated myself as a sexual person. Anyone who knows me knows that like, yeah, that bitch is very sexual. Like she's prominent in it, she owns it. Sexuality, her comments, just her aura. So when I was told this, I'm like, oof. I didn't know how to handle it, but in my own transformation and my evolution, I'm not, I haven't really associated myself with like the feminine act and this and that. But what I did discover is as a coach and the more parts work I do on myself and the ecology understanding is that my masculine part, the scene that I get with my masculinity, it, I associated it to a group of Native Americans, like people going out into the woods to gather and to, you know, go hunt. So there were weapons, but there were tools. Um, when I think about the way I present or I am in my masculine form, it's very surface level, right? Um, it's safe. It is, it, it's about wondering and making sure that I stay accepted. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, but more so I'm safe. In my approach to guiding people, I'm more sarcastic in that because I don't want to seem soft, right? I want to seem very confident. I am a leader. I'm going to guide you. And where that goes in giving a talk, that was my biggest part of like, my masculine side comes out and it's like, I go present, I go crush it. I give you all the information and I, I have to be strong and then I'm going to guide you. I'm going to get you from point A to point B. But as I evolve and I understand that like my masculine side, because I had a really rough childhood, had to come out and that's just my ecology work that it was told because growing up on a farm and in the Midwest and just showing weakness or expressing your emotions or it was just kind of unacceptable. And whether it was vocally told or physically told or reassured or whatever elements was given to me, I really felt like I had to keep myself safe and be acceptable all the time. So that keeps me at the surface level, right? Where now I'm doing all this ecology and understanding and I have this feminine side that's like been wanting to come out and I do, I feel she's sexy too. And it's a little like unnerving. Um, and so the co my coach and I were, were working through like, well, what would presenting, hey Tanya, what would presenting look like if your feminine side was out? And I'm like, 
well, instead of the Native Americans going out for voyaging for food, it's like a beautiful soft meadow, right? Like that's the, that's the space. That's what I like feel like I look like. Um, the energy for the feminine is still, it's calm. Um, when I think about how I present, whether it's from me to you or from me and my energy, it's a more deep level conversation. I want you to know that that place is coming from like a more nurturing, healing, sincere, safe place. Um, and the mission with that side of me is it's more of a co-creation energy. Uh, it's not such a direct like, give me your hand, I'm gonna pull you and we're gonna go crush your goals. It's a, babe, I got you. Like, you are the, you are in the driver's seat, I am the map, and let's get you wherever you're supposed to go. So this has actually been really hard for me because what I didn't realize before I joined, like had coaches and went through the TCM work, hey Brady, is how we are, con like we are conditioned when we are children to do certain behaviors or think certain ways or believe certain things. And as we evolve and we have ebbs and flows, we kind of change as individuals or we have the choice. I think sometimes we forget that we have the choice to change our behavior or change our way of life or change our mood. We have the choice. So it was just a really reflective parts work and a deep understanding, um, better understanding about why I've been like I am, uh, why I am, who I am. Um, and I wanted to share that with you in case you catch yourself going day to day feeling like you're living out of obligation. And by obligation, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad thing. It just means that you are owning up to what you feel is responsible for your previous choices. And sometimes we just follow suit in what is expected of them, that role by a society. And it doesn't make it wrong, it doesn't make it right. I just ask that you look yourself in the mirror tonight or tomorrow, whenever, and you really like, look within and you ask yourself, am I being who I want to be? Am I experiencing, hi mom, what I want to be? And whatever that answer is, just know that you can at any given time in life be anything and everything that you want, whether it's masculine, whether it's feminine, the beautiful thing about the transformation coaching methods and the ecology is that it makes the change a safe and encouraging place because you have an understanding of what your childhood recalled and like conditioned you to believe or feel. And whether you choose to change it, cool, but sometimes it's a matter of understanding it and just being with that and moving forward with it. And that's awesome. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, it was a heavy weekend. Um, I have a lot more I could share, but I'll keep it short. And I just hope you've had a wonderful weekend and you all start the week off wonderful tomorrow. All right, take care.